Hello friends, welcome to our channel, Military News, let's see what's happening in the military world. There is a possibility that in near future global conflicts between military powers like US, Russia, China, India could be fought with Star Wars type weapons like laser weapons or blasters. India looks to begin developments on directed energy weapons, DEWs, to stand an upper ground in future warfare. India's Defence Research and Development Organisation DRDO, announced earlier this month that it is planning a national programme to develop directed energy weapons DEWs in the form of high-energy lasers and high-powered microwaves. The two types of DEWs are anti-personnel as they can cause excessive burning of an area in the body and cause blindness. They are also anti-material as they possess the ability to destroy missiles, ships, UAVs and fry circuitry of equipment deployed on a battlefield. Excuse me guys, please subscribe to our Military News YouTube channel and press bell icon for new video notification. Considered as a key factor in future contactless warfare, the potential applications of the technology would be possessing weapons which could target enemy fighter jets, personnel, vehicles, missiles and optical devices. The national program under DRDO will comprise short, medium and long-term goals aiming to develop different variants of DEW with up to 100 kW power. One of the key reasons behind India's decision to channelize efforts towards the development of DEWs is India's current standing as a seismic zone for potential conflicts, as it finds itself sandwiched between China and Pakistan. Its deteriorating ties especially with China ever since the Galwan Valley clash which resulted in a series of military confrontations have led experts to realize the need for more potent weapons to keep the Chinese at bay. India's efforts on the DEW program has only been a response to China's development of DEW technologies. China's growing military power, including in space, cyber and electronic warfare domains, can inflict significant damage on its adversaries. Several DEW projects have been underway by DRDO, which range from chemical oxygen iodine and high-power fiber lasers to a secretive Kali particle beam weapon for soft kills against incoming missiles and aircraft, however, none of them are close to being operational. But one promising sign has been DRDO's development of two anti-drone DEW systems, which have been successfully demonstrated to intelligence, defense and police officials. One of them is a trailer-mounted DEW, with a 10kW laser able to engage aerial targets at a 2km range and the other is a compact tripod mounted one with a 2kW laser capable of engaging targets at 1km range. Both of them are capable of bringing down micro-drones by either jamming their command and control links or damaging their electronics through the laser-based DEW they are now being under production in large numbers with the help of the industry. In next decade Indian Army and the Indian Air Force IAF, need at least 20 tactical high-energy laser systems which are capable of destroying small aerial targets, electronic warfare and radar systems at a range of 6 to 8 kilometers under Phase 1. Whereas under Phase 2, the laser systems should possess the ability to take down soft-skinned vehicles and troops from the ground and aerial platforms, while boasting a range of over 20 kilometers. While India is amongst the countries investing in the development of the technology alongside China, Russia, Israel and the North African region, it is still far behind the United States, who are the current leading developers of DEWs. The Pentagon has reportedly doubled its spending on the technology from $535 million in the fiscal year 2017 to $1.1 billion in 2019. DEWs could be a game-changer in modern warfare and could be the factor in proving superiority over the other in the future. However, armed forces and defense industries still need to address some technical challenges when developing these cutting-edge weapons. For example, laser weapons effectiveness decreases because of atmospheric absorption, scattering, turbulence and thermal blooming. Thank you friends for watching my video, please hit like button, subscribe our channel to get the latest uploaded videos.